All right, guys, so I've talked a lot on this channel about how I get these huge Ulta hauls and I pay two, three dollars for them. It is something that I've been kind of perfecting as I have become more of a makeup collector, makeup holic, whatever you wanna call it. But I have a pretty good system um, of how to accumulate a good amount of rewards points and then when I decide to redeem them, I really do a good job of redeeming them either one, for a lot of sale items, including free gifts. So I get a ton of stuff or I do buy um, like some prestige new releases that I really want to get that I know aren't going to be on sale for a while. And that way I don't have to pay full price for them. But this is the strategy that I use when I'm shopping sales and I'm trying to get the best bang for my buck. I just over the weekend did three separate orders to get free gifts that they were offering. And I bought a ton of sales stuff and I figured relaying some of the very basic information that I have accumulated and the, the systems that I use might be something that you guys are interested in seeing. So with that being said, if you already shop Ulta and you are a part of their reward system, you may know a lot of this stuff. This is a very basic idea of what I do, but I do think that it's interesting and it might help somebody. So without further ado, I'm just going to talk about a few key points that I like to, um, to make sure that people know about to make sure that they are really utilizing the, um, the, the sale options, the reward options, and, um, getting the most value for their dollar because we all like to save a, a buck and we all like to bargain hunt. I for one do not buy makeup really full price ever. Sometimes if I really want it, but it, it takes a lot to convince me to, um, to part with all of my coin instead of getting some sort of a discount. So let's jump into it. The first thing we're gonna start with is our rewards point system, just the general breakdown of it. So let's go over to rewards and we're gonna pop into my rewards um, because uh, that will give you guys an idea of kind of what it looks like. So I actually have been very good this year. I am a diamond level. Diamond level gets you, I believe 1.5 times the points or two times the points. I, do, I should know, I should have figured that out before, um, I, before I, I started doing this. Stand by for technical difficulties. Okay. Yes, it is 1.5 times points. So here's how it works. So if you are just a standard rewards program member, you are going to get a dollar for, uh, or a point for every dollar that you spend. Platinum members are going to get 1.25 uh, points for every dollar you spend and diamond members are gonna get at 1.5 points. Now, the way the um, the point system works is if you're just a standard member, it just you just have to give your, your email and sign up and make an account, create a profile, then you will automatically be in the reward system. Now, if you want some of the bonus rewards that are offered with the platinum and the diamond levels, then you have to, for platinum, you have to spend $500 in a calendar year. And then for diamond, you have to spend $1,200 in a calendar year. Um, as you guys can see on the screen here, I am halfway to the 1200 to reach it through 2021. I've really tried hard not to spend too much money this year. Um, I've been trying to really kind of limit myself in what I'm ordering. I definitely will do what I need to, to make sure that I do make it to diamond because I enjoy being part of the diamond rewards program. I really think it gives you a lot of extra benefits. Um, some things you may not know if you've never done this before, if you've never been part of the platinum or diamond levels, um, they do offer some sales that are exclusive to, um, to those levels. They also offer free gifts that are exclusive to those levels. Um, diamond gets a ton. I know almost at the start of every month, they do some sort of like, Hey, here's a coupon for a full free size, a, a full sized free product. Um, if you, you know, meet these criteria and do all this stuff and, and you just have to put in the coupon code, they'll do free bonus bags. Um, and sometimes like the free bonus bags, you still have to spend $175, but honestly, some of the best free gifts, a lot of my travel bags and stuff like that have been created from taking advantage of those sales. So it's definitely worth looking into, especially if you're somebody who enjoys spending a good amount of money on makeup. Um, if you're a collector of makeup like I am, then obviously you know about this. And I am very aware that there are a lot of people who just buy what they need and they're not going to shop just based on sales. But this really is a strategy more of like, if you're trying to just try new products or get good deals on makeup and stuff like that. If you just buy when you need to buy, I totally get it. That's a smart way to do it. Um, I just don't like my money that much apparently. So I like it enough to shop sales, but not enough to be smart. So here we are. So, okay. So that's the general idea of the reward system it really is very effective. Their reward system turns into straight cash. It's not like Sephora where you accumulate 5,000 points and you can get a lipstick sample. Literally, the more points that you accumulate, the more you are going to, um, to wind up getting for free. So that being said, let me show you guys really quickly on the screen here. Let me just pull up a quick picture of it because I don't want to try and find it on the website. Um, this is the points breakdown. 
Hopefully you guys can see it. Our internet is like <laughs> not good. It is not good. All right, I'm just gonna show this over here and that's that. Nikki's good about editing, he'll figure it out. So every 100 points you get $3 off, 250 points you get $8 off, 500 points you get 17.50 off, 750 points you get $30 off, 1,000 points you get $50 off, and then it goes all the way up to 2,000 points and you get $125 off. So obviously the more you save them and wait to redeem those points, the more money you're gonna get. So I save mine up as much as I can. I save them, I don't touch them, I hoard them away just like I would with anything else because that's what I am in my mind is a, is a tad bit of a hoarder. This past weekend when I decided to do three full orders using rewards points solely, I redeemed 6,000 points. I had 11,500, um, so I redeemed 6,000 and I'm still still sitting at about, let's see, 5,200. So I had a little less than, um, I had like 11, 11, two instead of 11, five, but it's fine. So I had a good amount of points saved up. And because of that, I was able to get $375 off. Now you can use them whenever you want and you can redeem them for different increments, but I would recommend if you can get to like write an order of like right at 125, dollars and you have 2000 points, that's the ideal time to redeem them because you're going to get the most money off. So we've got the rewards points. We've, uh, we've, sh we've showed you the breakdown of that. Now let's talk about activating special offers because they're always really good about activating special offers. And I normally do it on my phone and on my phone, I feel like it's a lot easier to navigate this, but from the computer, this is where they are. If you go to like either rewards or your account, then you'll see your rewards breakdown. If you scroll all the way down, it'll say bonus offers. And then they have like, for right now, they have five times points on Gucci Guilty um, and five times points on any Mario Badascu purchase. Um, neither of which is really great, but sometimes you'll have things like five times points on any palette five times points on all NYX items, which is something that I use a lot of. So, so I always just keep them activated. So that way, if I do happen to pay for some, or buy something and check out, that means I'll get five times points on those. So say you buy, a, say they're doing five times points, you buy a $50 palette, and that's gonna be 250 points right there off that one thing. So you can see that they're gonna add up much quicker if you're kind of looking at those as well. Now let's go over to, this is my favorite tab. This is the one I always go to first. It is our sales and coupons tab. First of all, coupon wise, they always have something. Just check it, just see. Sometimes it's 20% off one item. Sometimes if you're, especially if you're platinum or diamond, they'll do 20% off your entire order for one order. Um, they always pretty much have 13 50 off your purchase of $15 or more of non-prestige brands, but there's a lot of brands that count for non-prestige. Um, obviously like your BH Cosmetics, your Morphe's, your Makeup Revolutions, those that I talk about that are really more affordable, they're going to all apply for it. NYX applies for it. So just a lot of, of different options. If you can just add $15 worth of products, you're gonna get 350 off of that. So now that we've talked about coupons, the next thing I typically do, and you can do it however you want to, but this is just what I like because I'm a sucker for a free gift. They are offering a free gift, like especially a free bundle set that they're like, hey, spend $85 this week and you're gonna get this bag. I will go and look and see if there's something that I want or need or is on sale and I will choose. That is how they got me for three different sales this week. I I wanted those bags and so I said, fine, I'm gonna spend what I need to to get them. So always check those, those are the big ones, but I always just check the gift with purchase tab too, which, oh my gosh, it's going wild. All right, so we got coupon, we got sale, we got gift with purchase. I don't do the buy more, save more very often. I just look at the sales and then I see what's on sale and normally, typically they'll kind of pop up in the same area, but whatever. But so like this Ulta free four piece gift with a $25 beauty order, um, it was originally was $19 you had to spend to get that gift. And I had um, purchased, it's coming in the mail, it's not here yet, but I have gotten that. And I purchased like a little bundle set they were doing um, in order to get it. Cause I really thought that the little uh, palm frond bag was cute. But as you can see, all the, the perfume companies, they normally do good, free gifts. Um, sometimes if a perfume company is doing the five times points and they're offering a free gift, I will opt to buy the fragrance even if I don't know what it smells like. I know that's not good. That's probably stupid, but actually some of my favorite um, fragrances I've ended up getting came from me doing that. It's just like, I'm gonna do it because it's offering free points and offering free gifts right now. And um, like I know Black Opium uh, from, I think it's YSL, I got that because of one of the, the deals they were doing and it's it's literally my favorite go-to fragrance. So there's definitely some good options. I always just like to peruse and see which one would be enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I'll drop the money that they're asking me to spend. There's not a ton of great ones right now. Honestly, what I like the most is this really cute iHeart Revolution free large pool uh, donut pool floaty. 
uh, with a $15 uh, purchase. I almost got it when I was buying this weekend and then I opted not to because I was like, I just, I don't need to do that right now. But as you can see, most of their palettes are like $15. So if you bought one palette, you were gonna get um, a little pool floaty with it. So I was like, ah, it's kind of cute. So I just always check that out. If there's something that kind of makes me want to uh, to say, yes, let me get that, then that's what I normally do. Now I'm gonna go into the sales category. There's a ton of sales right now because they're doing a summer sale. Um, but I just kind of, uh, I go into it. I look up makeup cause that's normally what I'm checking. But if I was looking for hair stuff or, or anything like that, I did it once with shampoos. I'll do that. And then I scroll down and I normally check there's, I, I have a mood that I'm in. Sometimes I'm like, I want to just find what's the cheapest but right now. I'm going to do high to low price wise to see like what they have. That's Obviously your more prestige brands are going to be what's on sale um, and a higher price. So let's check the high to low to see if they have anything really good in the prestige area. Like this Laura Mercier Hidden Gems eyeshadow palette, it doesn't have great ratings. I always look at the ratings too, especially when I'm doing this kind of stuff because obviously if other people like it, it will probably tell me if it's worth it or if it's not worth it. That being said, there are some palettes that I've purchased that I thought I was gonna hate because of the reviews and then I wound up loving them. And there are some palettes I've purchased where they had like five stars and I was like, this is a waste of my time. But I just always like to get other people's feels for it. Obviously, if you guys are watching YouTube videos in the beauty community, you probably also like to have someone else's kind of input on something before you decide to make a purchase or if you have made a purchase and you're trying to either validate or feel other you know, ideas out about it. So, so you guys probably understand what I'm saying but about that, but like right here, the Lime Crime Winter Lights palette is still available online. It is on sale for $27, which I paid $22.50 for it when I bought it. I was expecting to hate it because it was ranked at three stars. It has absolutely atrocious reviews. I loved that palette. I used it on camera. I thought I was gonna hate it. There's a video of it. I wound up loving the eye look. I love the eye look so much that I actually happened to like, like scroll past that video thumbnail one day looking at the channel and I was like, I love that palette. I pulled it out and used it again and I still loved it. So I really like, you can't always use the reviews and you just because I loved it, you guys might not like it, but I really loved that palette. So this modern dreamer from NYX, um, it's huge. It looks like it's got, looks like it has 40 colors in it. If I'm counting right on this really tiny screen, that's on sale for 26, 25, normally $35. That's a good price. I just kind of do this. This is my system. Like it's not, it's not high tech. It's not like I have like a, an algorithm where I'm like, give me the best deals, find me the best coupons, but it's really worked out very effectively for me through the years. I mean, I have literally gotten huge quantities of makeup, makeup that I should have paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars more for. And I wind up paying, you know, $2 an order for them because I'm shopping the sales and, and you know, using the system to my advantage. In a, in a, it feels like, kind of feels like when you're extreme couponing. I'm not saying I'm an extreme couponer because I'm not at all. These women like women, men, whoever does it, whoever, whoever, the extreme couponer themselves, they go in and they like strategically plan, they collect coupons, they do all this stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm just using the system as I know it to my advantage to benefit me to make good choices in terms of purchasing and hopefully get the most makeup out of it. So you guys can see there's a lot of stuff on sale. I normally have moods that I'm in where I'm like, I really wanna buy foundation. So like I bought this Stila foundation when it was on sale for 19.50 and I bought two of them cause I was buying in doubles cause I'm a weird person. Um, I got this Urban Decay Wired Pressed Pigment Palette for 19.50. It's been on, on sale for like three or four weeks now. Um, I will say I just was exploring just like a tangent. I was exploring this palette and I realized four of the 10 colors are not safe for eye use. So, um, so maybe read a little bit about the palette before you decide to buy it. Cause I had, I'd seen it and the colors are gorgeous. And I was like, I want that, but I wasn't going to pay 40 bucks for it. So I waited for it to be 50% off and then I got it. And when it came home, I realized that four of the, the shades are for face and body, not for eyes. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but I guess I shouldn't use it on my eyes. Yeah, that happens. I got bamboozled. I was sad. I probably would not have bought it if I had realized, but you know, it do be like that sometimes. So there's some really good stuff though. And I mean, you know, there's benefit eyebrow stuff. They always, Ulta's always good about putting stuff on sale. I feel like their, their website is very easy to navigate very easy to search and read and figure out where you're getting, you know, free gifts and what the best deals are. Sephora's, I don't, I can't navigate Sephora's to save my damn life, so I don't know. The last thing I will bring up, this is something I have chosen not to partake in yet, but Ulta does have a credit card as well. They ask me quite frequently to join it. I have opted not to because the interest rate is very high. 
But um, when you sign up for the rewards credit card, you do get 20% off your first first purchase and then you receive extra points. Let's see. Aha, yes, I figured it out. All right, so you get 20% off your first purchase at Ulta. There is no annual fee. There is an extra, so it's two points for every dollar you spend at Ulta. That's with the credit card and then with the MasterCard you get a point for every $3 you spend outside of Ulta Beauty, and then you get $500 welcome bonus points when you spend $500 in the first 90 days outside of Beauty. So if you're using, that's for the MasterCard only. So if you're using it and you're just using it as your regular credit card and you put $500 on it outside of Ulta Beauty, you're gonna get 500 bonus points, which yes, it does absolutely give you some more benefits, but I believe the interest rate on it's like 6%. So I wouldn't recommend it necessarily unless it's the card that you have just to pay for Ulta the products um, or you're gonna pay it off every month. I think the interest rates are a little bit astronomical, which is what's gonna happen with most of like these rewards cards specifically designed for companies. That is why I have not decided to, um, to partake in the credit card yet. I'm sure at some point I will invest in it because it will wind up turning into more rewards points. But these are just some options for you guys. I know it was very dense because it's not really exciting. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed being able to scroll through and kind of look at my account and figure out like, oh, okay, cool. I know this is very basic. It's not in depth, it's not rocket science, it's just some something that I've been doing that I found really effective for me. I've gotten so much more makeup than what I've actually paid for because of using these benefits in my favor. If you guys have any questions, please ask me them. Please ask me on my Twitter, on Instagram, in the, the comment section, obviously. Just, I would love to hear from you guys. I really want you guys to, um, to kind of, you know, move through this process with me in terms of the channel and all of that. And any questions that you guys have for what we do here or what I'm doing and how I'm getting makeup and how all of this stuff is happening, I'm, I'm interested in and I wanna answer them for you and I wanna help you guys kind of, you know, mold your own, you know, beauty collection as much as I can. So, so yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We have a lot of fun here. I try and come up with creative things. I try and share any uh, information that I have accumulated through my uh, my own blood, sweat, and tears and money to, to help you guys. I hope it is helpful. Um, but yeah, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.